Hi everyone and welcome to the video. My name is Alex. I'm a new mum. This is my nearly six month old baby Jed. Because Jed is nearly six months old, I thought it would be the perfect time to do a three to six month old essentials video. So that's what we're going to do today, aren't we? Yes. But yeah, just as a little intro, if you haven't been to this channel before, I've just started the channel recently. This one's getting a bit restless, so I'm going to entertain him for a while and then we'll get into the video. Okay, Baba. Okay, Baba. You win. You win. Okay, so here we are in our lounge room area and down on his mat here we have handsome young Jetty on his piano mat, which he absolutely loves playing it with, particularly when the music's on, which isn't on at the moment. And down here on his mat, I've just put a few toys that he's been loving for the last few months and still. So we'll start down here with some rattles. So rattles, um, he loves holding onto them. He loves chewing them, don't you? Yes, you do. This is his favorite teething toy. It's a rubber ring and he loves chewing that. We've got um, a cloth book here with the crinkly pages, the rings, the donut plastic rings, a ball here, loves rolling that between Lindsay and I. This is a little froggy thing that he quite enjoys and here we've got some stacking cups and just one of those sort of cube things with lights and various toys on there. Over here, I would have to say, is one of our best purchases. This is Jed's baby gym, and he's been using this since he was about six weeks old. I added some stuff like these black and white cards. Babies love looking at black and white things, so he would often just lie there and stare at them. He still is loving this. He's had a few months use out of it, still going strong, so favorite purchase. This is his toy box, by the way, that I just keep in the corner. And at the end of the day, I put everything back in there and it helps to keep our lounge room tie, uh, tidy and looking like it's not just been overrun by primary coloured things. And then in the corner here, I've got a box. This is for his board books. He has a lot of books, but these ones are specifically for the ones that are board books. So we keep them in the corner for easy access. Up here, so on the subject of toys, entertainment and things, this isn't a toy obviously, but this is my record player. Jed has been loving when I put on the Jive Bunny soundtrack and I dance and I pick him up and bop around with him. Oh, bless you, darling. Bless your little cotton socks over there. Oh, tripping over the gym. And just a couple more things I wanted to show you that I've got sitting here on his um, bouncer is the homemade toys so first of all i have this um, tupperware container that i've just got some grains of rice in he loves it when i shake that to music and cardboard tubes loves chewing it holding it all that type of thing and just some baking paper scrunched up he likes to play with that so you don't have to spend a fortune on toys ready and play with the paper. Yay, you like playing with the paper? Oh yes, mummy. No expense spared for me. There are a few things I want to talk about in the subject of sleeping essentials. So, first of all, we have a cuddly toy. So these I introduced to Jed, I think around four months or so. What I do is just nuzzle this elephant up to his face when I'm putting him down to sleep and you can just see him turn his head and nuzzle into it and he gets all relaxed and I think this helps send him off to sleep. The second thing is a wheat bag. So we're in winter at the moment in Australia. Wheat bag is really good for those nights and daytimes when the temperature is quite low. I'll just pop this into his cot before the nap and remove it before I put him in and when I do this I think it just helps him 
go off into a comfortable sleep. And the other one on the subject of sleep is an aromatherapy diffuser. So I just keep one of these in our room. I've got another one in the room where I feed him. And there's a couple of favorite oils that I have. This one is called um, Lavender Peace. It's from doTERRA. And that's one that I pop on in his room at night time before he goes to sleep. Now, I don't know if this actually helps him go to sleep, but it certainly creates a nice calm atmosphere. I like it, it calms me down, so I'll keep using this one. And the other one is this one by Rocky Mountain Oils. It's called Flu Time. So, Flu Time was recommended as something when they've got um, congestion, which he did about a month or so ago. And I diffused this through the night and it seemed to help. So can't hurt. And this one actually smells phenomenal. So the next thing that I want to talk about is some first aid items. So this is the little first aid kit that I keep specifically for baby. And there's a couple of essential items that I want to go over. Now I'm not going to talk about everything in here. We've got thermometers and um, things like this, but I can do another video on what's in this first aid thing. Let me know if you want me to do that. But the things that I particularly want to talk about are first of all this product, which is called Infant's Friend. And this is what we've been using when Jed has wind pain. We've used this since birth and he, um, in the first few months he needed it a lot more, but every so often he will still need this and we find this works really well and he loves the taste of it. The, set, the second thing is this. It's called Fess Little Noses and when Jed hasn't had a cold, thank goodness, but he has had a little congestion a couple of times and this saline spray has helped to uh, sort of um, what do you call it like loosen the mucus I guess and make it easier for him to breathe this does come with one of those um, what do you call aspirators I can't stand that I know I'll probably have to use it one day but for now this is all we've needed thank goodness um, what else oh the other thing I wanted to mention was this brow like teething gel this is a, uh, a natural medicine, it doesn't have any nasty chemicals in it and this is what we've been using when Jed seems to have been having trouble with his gums. So that is comes with my recommendation. And the next on the list of essentials for three to six months are things to do with feeding solids. So officially babies don't need to start having solids until six months but some people do like to start early. So we started Jed just the other day, a few days ago actually, um, so five and a half months old. I have a few things here that I want to talk to you about as essentials for feeding solids, but I think I might do that in a separate video, so I might make that next week actually. I'll just tell you about one of the things I have. The reason I really like this spoon is because it's practically flat. So anything that's got a scoop in it is going to be quite hard to use for a baby when you're first feeding them solids. So yeah, I'll tell you just about that one thing, but I will go into a few other things in a separate video about starting solids. So on the topic of feeding, this is the high chair that we decided to get. This isn't where I keep it, but I'm just trying to use the light in the room. So I decided to get one of these plastic high chairs after asking a lot of mums. So many people said to just get one that is plastic because they're so much easier than ones that have material that you have to wipe. We ended up choosing this one because it has the five point safety harness, particularly the, the part that goes over their shoulders. Because he is just starting to sit by himself, I need something that can sort of hold him securely in there. I also liked the fact that it had a footrest. And just a few other miscellaneous bits and pieces. 
So this is a nappy backpack as opposed to a traditional nappy bag. I made a video on what's in my nappy bag so you should check that out. But basically I have found the backpack to be essential, so much easier when you're carrying a young baby to have something that you can have your hands free with. I'm mentioning bibs because you can get ones where the neck hole is too big so they'll um, their spit up will go under and onto their clothes or you'll get ones with really scratchy things that dig into their neck. This one is by Dimples, it's the big W brand and they're really cheap, I think they're like a dollar each so that's the one that I have found to be the best and like in terms of a cheap bib. And the next item that has been a must have for us are dummies. Some babies have dummies, some babies don't. We introduced a dummy early on. We just found that we needed to for Jed and he took to it. Um, I hear some people, it's sort of like, it's sort of a catch-22. The people who gave their babies dummies often or sometimes wish they hadn't because then they have to go through the stages of replacing the dummy in the middle of the night and then eventually weaning your baby off the dummy. But on the other hand, I hear the mums that haven't given their baby a dummy wish their baby would take a dummy for soothing purposes. Um, I think when all is said and done, I'm quite happy that he has a dummy. I think we try not to give it to him like in the day when he's awake. But sometimes when he's sort of in an extra sort of precious mood, I call it, it's good to be able to have something to pacify him. And if you're out and about and he's just a bit out of sorts for whatever reason, I found it to be really handy. The brand that we use is Nook. It's the orthodontic soothers and they're sort of flat like this. Jed has taken to these and so we'll continue using these for a while. Next up I just have a good old blanket so if you don't have one of these I'd invest in one. It's just a picnic blanket with a waterproof backing. So I love taking Jed for walks and I often take a blanket with us and put it out at the park and the waterproof um, backing just means that he's not going to get cold underneath his back. So I realised this morning that I forgot to do an ending to the video. So Jed and I are just going out for a walk this morning. But the last uh, essential that I wanted to tell you about is actually this one for Mama. It's a keep cup and this is the first time I'm using it actually but I know it's going to be an essential. I've got my cup of tea in there, didn't have time to take the bag out but yeah so keep cup, good for the environment good for mama, caffeine, good for everyone and also the the bevy buddy on the pram must have. So I hope you enjoyed these three to six month old must haves and please click subscribe and hit like if you like the video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!